How blue does New Jersey make you feel, man? How blue are you, right? New Jersey, when it comes to landlord-tenant laws, is about as blue as it can get, bro. It's tough, man. That's tough, right? That's just, oh, it just, I just, oh, dude, I, I wouldn't want to be a landlord in New Jersey, right? I wouldn't want to be a landlord in New Jersey, but I'm going to help a landlord in New Jersey become a landlord in a red area, a red area y'all probably never heard of. Let's talk about it. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise. This is Holton Wise TV. If you're trying to learn real estate, do real estate, watch messed up shit that happens in the real estate space, please stick around, follow us, subscribe. However you get your Holton Wise TV, click all that stuff, right? Today we're talking about blue. The blues, man. Blues Clues. Y'all remember that show, Blues Clues? Anywho, the blues, man. New Jersey. Landlord tenant laws give me the blues. You know who else they give the blues to? They give the blues to my girl Candace. Hard working girl. Truck driver. I come from a long line of truck drivers. Both my daddy and my grandpappy were truck drivers, right? I highly, highly respect the truck drivers. Blue collar guys, right? But we're talking about a different kind of blue now. We're talking about the blues that we get from trying to be a landlord in a blue motherfucking city. Like New Jersey, or state, state rather, state, a state like New Jersey, right? It's so fucking small, though. I mean, it's, it's basically, any, anyway, look, it's tough when the landlord tenant laws are so freaking skewed, okay? That's why people like Candace come to me, because I help you guys invest in the markets where it makes sense. Live where you want, invest where it makes sense. And what I have for you today, Candace, is a property in Ohio, right, in the greater Cleveland area. But here's the thing. Ohio is a red state. Cleveland itself is turning more blue than it really needs to be, right? So it's a little blue dot in a red area. But nationally, y'all be focusing on it because everyone talks about how great a cash flow market it is. And that's true. It really is. But Cleveland is not the only thing. It's not Cleveland. It's the Cleveland market, right? So that's why you need a team. You need to partner with somebody on the ground like myself who can steer you in the exact right direction, okay? You got to have somebody who knows what to do with your money, who knows these neighborhoods street by street, because you don't want to spend your money that you've taken it all the way from New Jersey, sending it to Ohio, and realize you ended up in another situation where, like, the government is up your butt, right? So uh, I have a property for you in a different city in the Cleveland market called Elyria. A lot of people sleep on Elyria, but again, that's why you partner with me because I show you guys all this stuff. I think you're much better off investing in Elyria right now than Cleveland, and I'm going to get into exactly why as well as the complete breakdown of this investment for you, Candace, right after this. There are two sides to wholesaling. Bodacious marketing to attract motivated sellers and data-driven analytics. Together, they're a match made in heaven. This is our wholesaling course. Let the link and buy the course! Welcome back. Let's pull up the property, get into the details, man. Because I don't want you buying in Cleveland, right? I don't want you to do it! No Cleveland! I love Cleveland, folks. I love the Cleveland market. But right now, I think... We need to zig when other people are zagging, right? When a good Cleveland deal pops up, of course, I'll want to present it. But right now, I think a lot of people are missing on Elyria. Another place I like a lot is Lorraine, but let's talk Elyria today. I think a lot of people are missing on Elyria, man. Like, you know, this is Holden Wise TV, right? We got, as I talk to you, about 60,000 subscribers to the channel, right? And what we do, we talk real estate investing, and it's Cleveland, Cleveland, Cleveland. And I'm not saying just because of our 
our our Holton Wise TV or this or that, just because of Holton Wise, the whole world knows about Cleveland investing. I'm not saying that. Like, we have a decent part in it. Don't get me wrong. But, like, national publications and things of that nature, people are always talking about Cleveland. When you read national articles, like, what's the best real estate market for cash flow properties? What's the best for landlords? They always say Cleveland, Cleveland, Cleveland. So everybody from all over the world that's – Traveling to the best markets, looking for that cash flow. They narrow in on Cleveland, on Cleveland, on Cleveland, right? But Cleveland is just a small city in the greater area, right? It's, you know, several million people are here, but only like 350,000 actually live in Cleveland, right? But, you know, you hear Cleveland Browns, Cleveland Cavs, Cleveland this, Cleveland Rock Hall, like all this, right? Everybody just focuses on that. You forget about the suburbs and the surrounding cities. And one city that is just freaking slept on, dude, is Elyria. And that's why I got this one. 144 Abbey Road, Elyria, okay? Price, 89 grand. On the market, 67 days. Now, it was not on the market for 67 days, priced at 89 grand. They just dropped that, right? Had this been in Cleveland, it probably would have got picked up when it was the higher price, right? They had it uh, at like 100 Gs, right? In Cleveland, it probably would have got scooped up, right? But in Elyria, because there's just so much fewer investors paying attention, this old bitch didn't get scooped up. But now that it's at 89, I think it will definitely get scooped up. So I want you to come in hot. 90 grand, right? Come in 90 grand because I think they will get multiple offers now, right? Had this been in Cleveland proper, which in my opinion, a lot of the C-grade neighborhoods that I work in, in Cleveland itself, are probably a little bit lower quality tenant base than what you get out here in Elyria. But you would have had to pay about 10 grand more had you done it in Cleveland just because there's more supply of buyers out there because more people are aware of it, right? You can't buy something if you don't know it's for sale. You know what I'm saying? This property already got two tenants in there, okay? Now, both tenants are paying under market rent, just so you're aware. Both tenants are currently paying $550. We will want to slowly increase their rents up to market rate. We don't want to cause them to move out by immediately going to market rate, which is $750 a unit. So when we get it up to market, $1,500 comes in, eighteen k for the year, right? We don't just immediately go. Uh, with a huge $200 increase because that will cause them to move out. Then we got to, like, repaint their unit. Like, everything looks good in these units right now, right? But there's a lot of carpet in these units, man. When we move those beds, those couches, things of that nature, like, is there going to be, like, a spot where the couch was where it's, like, just, like, a shade lighter than the rest? And if that's the case, we're going to have to replace it, of course, right? So you want to avoid unnecessary turnovers. But we should be able to just slowly get them up, right? But that's what you should focus on, the long-term cash flow of this property, right? So 15 hundo comes in. You should spend approximately eight thirty, having my team manage it completely passive, right? That's approximately eight thousand twenty nine a year, right? If you pay ninety, you only got to put down twenty two and a half, man. That's it, twenty two and a half, twenty two thousand five hundred dollars. Bank kicks in the under sixty seven. Long term projections here: twenty one percent cash on cash return, man. On top of that, Elyria, in my opinion, another reason you should focus on Elyria, because hey, we're zagging, other people are zagging. Uh, the city. Dealing with the city is a lot easier than dealing with the city of Cleveland, to be honest with you. They're a lot more landlord-friendly. You know what's going to make you money? Owning a property in a landlord-friendly area, right? Ohio, why do you guys come to Ohio? Because it's a red state, right? Well, guess what? Elyria is a hell of a lot more of a red city than Cleveland is, okay? So uh, all that stuff. Like even Cleveland's got the new lead laws and stuff. You don't have to deal with that kind of crap in Elyria, right? So my opinion, prices are lower. Tenant base a little bit better. And city a little bit more landlord friendly. For all those reasons, I think Elyria, Elyria is the hot spot, right? So now that they've dropped us down to 89, I think now we come in aggressive. 90K, and I think it's a banger of a deal. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.